Welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thanks for watching. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet these little pants, trousers, or little leggings for babies between six and nine months old. I made them to match the little pullover sweater that I showed you last week, so I hope you like them. They're for babies between six and nine months old, but you can easily make it smaller or bigger. Down here in the information box, I'm going to leave some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger, so be sure to check that out. Okay, let's get started. Before First, don't forget, all of my tutorials are always in English and in Spanish. Also, don't forget to subscribe, share my tutorials, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Okay, to make these little pants or trousers, I'm going to be using this 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, which is an e-hook. Now, I'm using this yarn, it's DK weight yarn. You can also use any number three yarn or a ply. Here, to begin, I have a total of 88 chains. This chain here is measuring about 50 centimeters, which is about 19.5 inches. Now, if you're off by one or two centimeters less or more, it's okay, just continue. So here, to continue, what we're going to do is we're going to join to the first chain. So I'm going to do this to make sure that the chain here is not twisted. Now insert your hook into the first chain right here. Make a slip stitch. And now we're joined. Now this here is going to be the waist. So I'm going to make my waist in this blue color and then I'm going to change to white. Now to begin, I'm going to chain one and beginning into this first chain, which is the same one where we joined, I'm going to make my first half double crochet. For this first row, I'm going to make half double crochets into each one of the chains. So into the next chain, same thing, make a half double crochet. Into the next chain, a half double crochet, and so on. At the end of this first row, I'm going to have 88 half double crochets. Continue and I'll meet you at the end of this first row. I'm here at the end of this first row. I have 88 half double crochets. Now to finish this row, just go on top of the first half double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for the second row, chain one. In this second row, I'm going to work front post and back post half double crochets. You can also do double crochets. I'm going to do half double crochets. So here, yarn over into the first half double crochet right here, make a front post half double crochet. Into the next, make a back post half double crochet. Into the next, front post half double crochets, and so on. This is all I'm going to do for this second row. Just alternate between a front post and a back post half double crochet. Continue and I'll meet you at the end of this second row. I'm here at the end of this second row. This is where we did front post and back post half double crochets. Now to finish this row, all we're going to do is just go on top of the first half double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for rows three and four, you're going to repeat exactly the same thing we just did here on this second row. So to start you off, you're going to chain one and then here you're just going to do exactly the same thing. A front post half double crochet, next one back post half double crochet, front post half double crochet, and so on. This is all you're going to do for this third row and for the fourth row. When you finish this row, you're just going to go here to the side on top of the first half double crochet, join with a slip stitch, chain one, and then repeat the same thing for the fourth row. I'll meet you at the end of the fourth row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making my waistband. I did a total of three rows of front post and back post half double crochets. So in total here for this part, we have four rows. The first row was just the first row where we did half double crochets. Now here at the end, I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn and pass my yarn through this last loop. Now the waistband is all done. If you want to make it wider, you can just continue and add more rows in the exact same way. Now to continue, what we're going to do is we're going to turn this over like this. This here is going to be the top of the waistband now. So we're going to continue here on, on this side. This is where we started 
So we're going to go right here, insert your hook into this space. This is the chain and then this is the first half double crochet. So into this space right there, insert your hook, grab a loop here in white. I'm going to continue with this white color here, chain one and into this same space right here, make a half double crochet. Now in between the next two stitches, so right here, make a half double crochet, half double crochet in between the next two and so on. This is all I'm going to do for this first row, just make half double crochets. So continue like this and I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this first row. This is where I've done half double crochets all around up to here. This is my last space. I have 88 half double crochets. Now to finish this row, just go on top of the first half double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for the second row, chain two, these two chains never count as a stitch. Now beginning on top of this first half double crochet, which is the same where we did this, the slip stitch, make a double crochet, double crochet on top of the next, double crochet on top of the next, and so on. This is all I'm going to do for this second row, just double crochets, and at the end of this second row, I'm going to have 88 double crochets as well. Continue and finish this second row, and I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this second row. This is where I did double crochets all around. I have a total of 88 double crochets. Now to finish this row and all the rows to follow, all you're going to do is just go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. And now to begin each row from here on, you're just going to chain two and then into this same stitch here, which is the first double crochet, you're just going to make a double crochet, then double crochet on top of the next and so on. This is all we're going to do for the rest of the pants here. I'm not exactly sure how many rows I'm going to do, but just continue watching. I will let you know exactly how many rows we're going to do from here on and all you're doing is just repeating this same row. Now, once again, to finish each row, you're just going to go on top of the first double crochet, join with a slip stitch and then chain two and then start in the same way. So continue for the rest and I will meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I finished making this part. I did a total of 17 rows from here. This is the first row that we did. These are half double crochets up to this last row of double crochets. I have 17 rows and it's measuring from the top of the waistband down to the end of this last row. It's measuring about 21 centimeters, which is about 8.25 inches. Now what we're going to do is we're going to separate the legs. So to do this, before we continue, make sure that you're on the back side. This is is where I finished so right there I've finished here by making a slip stitch on top of the first double crochet and that's how I finished the 17th row now before we continue you're going to place some stitch markers here so what you need to do is this is where I finished this is the first double crochet and these are the chains so the chains don't count so you're going to put a stitch marker right after this first double crochet so put a stitch marker there now count 42 double crochets which are going to be for the leg and into the this space in between uh, double crochet number 42 and number 43 put a stitch marker and then we're going to mark two double crochets for the front side and then put a stitch marker then count 42 double crochets for this other leg and then put a stitch marker here in the back what I'm doing is I'm just marking two stitches so that's why I have two stitch markers and then for the front as well just two stitches so we have 42 42 for each one of the legs two stitches here in the back and two stitches in the front so to separate the legs this is what we're going to do we're going to chain two and right on top of this first double crochet which is the same one where I joined with a slip stitch make a double crochet now chain one we're going to skip 42 double crochets And into this next double crochet right after the stitch marker which is double crochet number 43 make a double crochet now a double crochet on top of the next one 
chain one and then skip again 42 double crochets for the other leg and into the double crochet after this stitch marker make a double crochet as well don't forget to chain one here and we're just going to make a double crochet right on top of this double crochet now to finish this part here we're going to go on top of the first double crochet right here and join with a slip stitch now I've cut my yarn to pass your yarn through this last loop and now the legs are separated so we have two double crochets here on on the front side and then two double crochets on the back side and that's what it looks like now we're going to start here with row one and I want to make sure that from here on I finish uh, each row right here in the middle so I'm going to insert my hook right here into the chain one space that we just did so insert your hook there grab a loop bring it through the front chain two and right into this chain space here make a double crochet now we're going to work our way around this way so here we have this first double crochet that we did when we separated the legs so into this double crochet make a double crochet now into the double crochet that's before the stitch marker this one here this one already has this double crochet right on top i'm also going to make a double crochet there and now into the next double crochet which is this first one after the stitch marker right there make a double crochet from here on we're just now going to continue working double crochets all around this leg so continue and i'll meet you right here right here to show you how we're going to finish this first row okay i'm here at this other side of the leg this is the first row up to here i have 45 double crochets then i have the next double crochet which has this double crochet here so into this double crochet which is the double crochet after the stitch marker make a double crochet and then right here into this double crochet space make a double crochet so now i have i had 45 46 47 so now to finish go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch and this is how i finish this row where we have separated the legs and i have 47 double crochets and that's what it looks like from here on we're just going to continue with these 47 double crochets and all we're going to do all around is just double crochet so to start you off here on the second row since you're going to continue on your own from here on this part here is basically the same way that we did here with you know less stitches obviously Obviously. so you're just going to chain two and into this first double crochet which is the same one where I join with a slip stitch make your first double crochet and then one double crochet on top of each one of these double crochets all around at the end of every row you're going to have 47 double crochets and to finish each row from here on you're just going to go on top of the first double crochet join with a slip stitch chain two and then start your row in the same way that i did here now i'm not exactly sure how many rows i'm going to do here for the leg but continue watching i'll let you know exactly how many rows i'm going to do so i will meet you at the end of that row okay i finished making the leg i did a total of 15 rows so from here to this last row it's 15 rows and here at the end i just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch cut my yarn pass my yarn through that last loop now what we're going to do next is i'm going to continue with the blue color here and we're going to go right on top of the first double crochet right here which is the same one where i joined with a slip stitch grab a loop here and chain one now here i'm going to work front post and back post half double crochets if you prefer you can also do i don't know three four rows of single crochets all around so here chain one and here i'm going to start into this first double crochet and make a front post half double crochet then make a back post half double crochet front post half double crochet 
back post half double crochet and so on here to finish this row you're just going to go on top of the first half double crochet right here join with a slip stitch chain one and then repeat the same thing front post back post front post back post half double crochets this part here is exactly uh, the same that we did here for the waistband so you're going to do um, here I'd say about three or four rows I'm not sure continue watching I'll let you know how many rows I'm going to do so continue finish this leg and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next okay I finished making this part I did a total of four rows if you want to make this part uh, longer you can I only did four rows here at the end I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop so this part here is all done so this side is all done so now we're going to do the other side so I'm going to start you off here so we're going to go right here into the chain one space so right into this chain space that we did when we divided the legs here insert your hook there grab a loop bring it through the front and chain two now this here is the back side so we're going to work this first row for the second leg we're going to go here towards the front and then around towards the back so now here into this same space here i'm going to make a double crochet now into this double crochet space here make a double crochet and into this same double crochet where i did this double crochet make a double crochet so that this one double crochet has two now now into the next double crochet which is the double crochet after the stitch marker make a double crochet and then continue all around the legs just making double crochets this here we're going to go from the front towards the back and then finish here in the middle i will meet you right about here to show you how we're going to finish this first row for the second leg I'm here at the end of this first row. This is for the second leg. Up to here I have 45 double crochets. I need to make two more. So I'm going to go into this double crochet right after the stitch marker and make a double crochet here. And then into this double crochet also right into the space here make a double crochet so now I have 47 double crochets to finish go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch and here's the first row to the second leg with a total of 47 double crochets from here on you're going to continue on your own and do exactly the same thing we did here for this first leg so to start you off chain two and into this same stitch where we did the slip stitch make your first double crochet then continue all around making double crochets at the end of every row you're going to have 47 double crochets to finish you're going to join here to the top of the first double crochet with a slip stitch chain two and then make your first double crochet into this same double crochet exactly in the same way i just showed you here so continue finish this leg remember you're going to do a total of 15 rows and then you're going to finish with four rows of front post and back post half double crochets so i'm going to go ahead and do that and then i'm going to come back and show you the finished pants okay i finished making the other side this is what it looks like so the little pants are all done this is the back side and these are the legs now here what I did is I did a chain of about 175 chains and then I just weaved it through the center here and then at the end I just added these little pompons. These little pompons all I did was just wrap the yarn around my two fingers like this and then I just uh, tied them both like this and then just cut that the sides and shaped the little pompons and then as i was uh tying it i also tied it along with the end here of the chain and that's all i did it's very easy to do so that's all the little pants are all done and that's what they look like now let me give you the finished measurement so from the top of the waist down to the end here it's measuring about 15.5 inches which is about 39.5 centimeters from the inside of the leg here to the end here, it's measuring about seven inches, which is about 18 centimeters. Now the waist, I forgot to measure that. 
let's see it's about 24 centimeters which is about 9.5 inches just the top so based on these measurements these little pants along with the little sweater are for babies between six and nine months old as you know i did these little pants here to match the little sweater that i already showed you this one here if you want to see this tutorial just click the little lamb down here next to my channel name and it'll take you to my main channel page you'll find the tutorial there now you can also make it smaller or bigger check out the information box there i'm going to leave some information on how you can make this set here smaller or bigger okay so this was today's tutorial i hope you like it thank you so much for watching until next time